The reason you use us for 3D printing is we have over 60 years experience in manufacturing. My grandfather started this company in 1955. We've been doing CNC work since it began. If, if you need me to make a part that has to be 3D printed because of its complexity, but has to be held to half a thousandths, we can machine it afterwards. My name is Kevin Gould, I'm from AGS, Advanced Graphic Systems, and we specialize in 3D metal printing. 3D metal printing now allows you to create usable production parts out of metal, and it also allows you to make things that you couldn't possibly make any other way. So I'm going to show you a part that's out of this world. Well, this is actually the first part we made. This is a prototype for a NASA mission to Mars to filter the dust out of the air in Mars. It has over 5,000 holes, less than a millimeter in diameter. It would be impossible to make any other way. The original design before it got changed could have possibly been made with drills, but even then, a drill that small would take you weeks and months to even try to make it before you break about a thousand drills. These are some of the parts we've made over the years for various aerospace companies. A helicopter parts, landing gear parts for jet airplanes, gun parts for 50 caliber machine guns. So the advantage of using us is that once we've 3D printed a part, we can do secondary operations and we can hold tight tolerances. Some of the parts we've made, a finger for a robotic instrument, needed tight tolerances for where it fits onto the machine. So we 3D print the features and then turn it over and machine it afterwards, tap the holes, dowel pins, and everything you need to have a completed part. Another advantage of using AGS for 3D printing is we can take an old design that used to be an assembly and marry the file together as one part. This used to be an assembly of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts that had to be brazed together process and keeping these things straight while we did it was just a nightmare. So now you can print this thing, everything stays straight, it's one solid piece and then the assembly time is gone. Our size can go obviously as small as you can imagine to about 10 by 10 by 11. This is both prototype and production. We can make parts by the ones, by the hundreds, or by the thousands. The material choices are tool steel, which is what we're printing in now, stainless steel, aluminum, titanium, inconel, cobalt chrome, and copper. Just recently we acquired a, a plastic printer as well. This will print plastic that is comparable to injection molded plastic, like ABS plastic. It is isotropic, so it's a completely strong, usable, workable part. Well, 3D printing allows you to do geometry you couldn't make in any other way, obviously. For instance, this part, this is just an example mold, where you can do conformal cooling lines. So you can have a hole that takes a turn that you couldn't possibly drill any other way. The old way to make this kind of path would be to drill two times and a third time across and then plug it. Then you get yourself a square path. The only way to make a curved path is through 3D printing. This hole actually starts off round and then morphs into that shape in order to hold its geometry throughout. Because you can only build a ceiling so tall before you need to support it. So this way I can have a hole that travels in any direction without any internal support. Um, people think that you buy a printer and you put your file in and you hit print and it goes. But there's lots of complications to it. How do you want to support it? What complications happen during the printing process? What kind of complications happen because of heat distribution or the stresses because of the orientation of the part? There's an art to making this part. 3D metal printing, only at AGS. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com.